Australian culture is very unique and it has many features and characteristics that makes it really different than many other countries in the world. If you are planning to come to Australia, these are the 10 things you should know about Australian culture. Let's get started with the first one. Australians are very friendly people. Now generally speaking, Australians are very friendly, honest and open-minded people. As an example, if you are on the street and you see a stranger, you generally smile and say hi to them. And most likely they're going to smile back and reply to you hi. Apart from friendly, Australians are very funny people as well. They like to make fun and crack jokes. And if you are coming to Australia for the first time, you might find it a bit challenging to understand some of their jokes. So the tip here for you is don't take things too seriously and go with the flow. If you're not understanding their jokes yet, you will start getting the jokes after a while. Number two, Australians love their sports. So whether it's football, whether it's AFL, whether it's cricket or rugby or any other sports, Australians are very competitive in sports. And Australian fans love to back their home team regardless of the sports they are playing. So if your home country teams are coming here playing against Australia, be ready to face hardcore Australian fans along with their teams. Number three, Australians do not follow specific religion. That's correct that many Australians don't follow any specific religion. And some of them don't follow any religion at all. Even though they don't follow any specific religion, they openly accept the practice of any other religion. So if you are coming to Australia, don't worry, you will be okay to practice your own religion. Number four, some etiquettes when meeting Australian people. So as we discussed earlier, Australians are casual in nature, but when meeting them for the first time, make sure to shake hand with them. And usually Australians like a firm handshake. It's very important to have eye contact with the person you're speaking with, as not looking into the eyes is disrespectful and it seems like you are not telling the truth. Although as friendly as they are, if you're meeting Australians for the first time, usually don't try to get too close to them as they don't feel very comfortable about it. The next one, Australians love their slang. Now Australians try to abbreviate everything they say. Basically try to make everything in short. If you haven't watched the video yet, we got a really good video on Australian slangs. Go and check that video out. We'll put the link of that video in the description below. Now you might feel a bit overwhelmed with the abbreviations or the slangs Australians use. And if you don't understand their slang, it's a good idea to ask them to repeat the thing again. Or tell them if you're new here that you don't understand the slangs. And saying hi or hello is much better than saying good day mate if you're new here. The next one is Australians don't accept discrimination or racism. Now it is illegal in Australia to discriminate people based on their color, race, religion, gender or any other attributes. And Australians certainly don't like to discriminate people. Although we are not saying that there is no racism or discrimination in Australia, but you will rarely find that discrimination or racism happening in Australia. And Australians are generally very much against racism or discrimination in everyday life. The next one, Australians don't tip their waiters. So if you are working in the hospitality industry as a waiter, waitresses, or even in the kitchen areas, don't expect to get any tips here. Generally, the wages and salaries in Australia are really good as the minimum wage per hour in Australia is $19.49. Australians generally don't tip people in Australia. However, sometimes if you provide a really good service, then you might end up getting some tips. The next one, Australians don't like to be late for the meetings. As laid back as they are, Australians still like to arrive on time for any meetings. So whether it's an interview, meeting someone casually or a business meeting, make sure to arrive on time. Don't be late. And if you can't make it on time, make sure that you let that person know by text or by calling them. Number nine, some public transport etiquettes. Now when boarding public transport in Australia, you must give way to the exiting passengers first. And make sure to queue up and don't jump the queue. And it's very important not to eat any food while traveling on public transport in Australia, as you might even end up getting a penalty for that as eating food on public transport is not allowed in Australia. And it's a good idea not to talk too loud in public transport, especially when you're on your phone. And last but not the least, dating culture in Australia. So if you are planning to date someone in Australia, it's very important to consider these factors. Unlike many other cultures where people like to kiss each other on the cheek when they meet for the first time, Australians are a bit reluctant to do that, especially when they're meeting you for the first time. So try to avoid that when you're meeting someone for the first time. Lots of Australians love to use different apps for meeting someone. 
Now if you're not into these apps and online platforms, then you can meet people at your educational institute, at your workplace, through sports or some other events. But generally the rule is the first meeting is your casual date and regardless of gender, whether it's male or female, anyone can ask for a date. And when you don't know the person that well as yet, it's good idea to split your bills, which means you will pay 50-50 if you're going out with someone. So these are the 10 things that you should know about Australian culture before moving here. Which one did you find most fascinating? We will look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.